I'm Lori Sullivan from ExceptionalStudentServices.com. I am a special ed teacher and a consultant. Today I want to share a few things that I have learned over the years specifically about IEPs. Are you a new teacher hearing and learning many educational acronyms or a general education teacher who has heard these acronyms but you do not know what they stand for? This video will help explain some of the acronyms that are used in special education, as well as your role in the IEP team and meetings. IEP stands for Individualized Education Program or Individualized Education Plan. IDEA is the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. This is a federal law that was last updated in 2004. The PLAF, Present Levels of Academic Achievement and Functional Performance, is extremely important for documenting how the student is doing both in academics and socially. Take the time to evaluate your observations of the student. You need to be professional and objective. Be aware of your personal biases and don't let them affect your contributions to the IEP. FAPE is a free appropriate public education, which must be provided to each student. LRE is the least restrictive environment in which the students receive their education. Accommodations are how the information is presented to the student, both special education students and general ed students. Accommodations do not change the expectations or the standards. Accommodations are also used in general ed classes, special ed classes, and intervention programs. So think of it as how many different ways can I present the material so all of my students can understand. Modifications are changing the content, delivery, and instructional level of the materials. Now for your role on the IEP team and in the meeting. The special education teacher has sent you a notice of meeting. Now what? Do you have to go? The answer is yes. A minimum of one general ed teacher must be present for the entire IEP meeting. The special education teacher is relying on you to provide reliable, accurate data on the student. What information are you to provide? The special education teacher may have a form to fill out which will ask specific information about the student's strengths and struggles. You will also need to talk to all of the other gen ed teachers and any specials teachers that this student has to get their feedback. Documentation of what is working or not working as well as different accommodations that you have tried is extremely important in creating each annual review as well as the triennial review. You will be presenting progress, weakness, and needs in a positive and productive manner. Again, the focus needs to be on the student. The IEP meeting is not a them against me setting. Each member of the IEP team should be an equal member. Each member of the IEP team has unique perspectives. The parents, school psychologist, and special ed teacher have valuable knowledge, just as you do. The focus of the IEP meeting is on determining what is best for the student, not what is easiest for the teachers or the school. Each member of the IEP team is equally essential to the success of the meetings. The IEP meeting should be a collaborative effort of all of the members providing dialogue. The seating arrangement should allow for all of the adults to participate equally. With a mixed seating arrangement, no one is more important than the other members. Teachers should not sit next to each other as this can be intimidating for the parents and the student. All of the adults present should have the best interests of the student in mind and work together for the most optimal learning environment possible. At times, parents fear that the teacher's focusing only on the student's disabilities. 
This requires the teacher to reassure them that while it may appear that way, he or she is attempting to prepare the student to be as well prepared for the future classes as possible. The teachers need to encourage the parents to talk to them and give suggestions that they feel would best benefit their child. Opening the dialogue for the teacher to be able to explain more how he or she is working on helping the student. If you do not agree or understand something that is being discussed, be willing to ask for clarification. You may not be the only one who has a question. Be open-minded to try new approaches when you are working with special ed students. Schedule time each week when you can meet with the special ed teacher to plan any accommodations that will help inclusion students in your classroom. Thank you for watching my video. For more information, please visit exceptionalstudentservices.com. Thank <laughs> you.